Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called POW Prisoners of War. This was created by SNK in 1988. And uh, it's a beat em up, kind of like a um, Double Dragon. In fact, it's, it's a lot like Double Dragon. Um, you can play one player or a two player simultaneous play. And you are, as the title implies, prisoners of war. And you you uh, break out of your prison, try to make your way all the way out of the enemy base, and get to your uh, pickup chopper. And there are like uh, four stages. And the stages are really long. Uh, not all of them are really long, but uh, at least the first is. Kind of charming little tune there during the boot up screen but uh, you have a punch and a kick and a jump kick at your disposal but there are weapons there are weapons that you can pick up and uh, to get very far in this game you really have to study uh, each enemy and what what they do they all do different things. They have uh, different uh, amounts of uh, energy. Uh, various attacks will work better against some enemies than others. Um, if you pick up uh, an automatic rifle and you run out of bullets, then that's stuck in your hands until you get it knocked out of them. And uh, you get to uh, hit the enemies with the butt of your rifle. But it's it's better not to have it when it's out of ammo. But yeah, you don't have much life and you have no opportunity to regain your life. Which really sucks. But um, I remember seeing this back in the day. It was in a... It was in an, uh, a nickel arcade. Uh, it got a, a Nintendo Entertainment release. And if you play the Nintendo Entertainment release, look online, there is a cheat code that gives you 20 men to start, and you will need them. Yeah, this game is really tough. And like I said, if you want to uh, get very far in this game, you have to study what each enemy does. Note the color of the enemy's uh, uniform. Note what they look like. And uh, learn how much energy they have. What's the best attack to use. Because uh, attacks, one certain attack may work better against an enemy than others. But there's a lot of different enemies in this game. There's a certain sound that often uh, occurs when the enemy is defeated, and it's <laughs> or something like that. But when you hear that, then the enemy is dead, and they often fly really far when you when you hit them the last time. Yeah, your jump kick is very nice, but it doesn't it it won't uh, it won't knock every enemy down. And the ones that it doesn't knock down, they'll just, they'll barely flinch. And they'll, and they'll be standing there ready to attack you. There, I got a knife that I can throw. Um, it's kind of stupid. With the, uh, yeah. with the, uh, punch button, you will throw a knife that's in your hand. You don't have to push a button to pick it up. You just walk right over it. And uh, with the uh, kick button, you use that to fire your uh, your uh, automatic rifle. Or your uh, machine gun. The guys that throw explosives, or when there's an explosion happening, that has a wide radius, so get the hell out of the way. But it can take out enemies for you. Stay far away from it. 
you can uh, trigger an explosion by shooting a drum, an oil drum. And this indicates that uh, enemies are going to drop out of a chopper and attack you. But it sucks running out of ammo for your uh, machine gun. Because then all you can do is is smack them with the, the butt of your gun. You can still jump kick though. But you have to wait for the uh, uh, machine gun to get knocked out of your hand. When an enemy turns red, they're almost dead. And they should... Uh, ah, shit. And they should fall down when you jump kick them. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, graphics are a little messed up or the uh, some technical aspects of this game are, are screwy. Don't let the enemies get too close to you. Uh, some enemies, and make note of this, which ones maybe, um, can attack you even if they're not on the same plane as you. Which really sucks. Ah, oh, those guys with the knives really suck when they get close. Sometimes enemies will rush onto the scene, and then they will rush right back off. Maybe uh, make a note which guys those are. There will be these uh, Green Beret knife fighters on occasion. But the jump kick is very, very, very useful in the uh, NES version. The NES version is a little different. There's opportunities to get your energy back, which this game sorely needs. Once in a while, there will be a scene where the computer makes you climb up a ladder. You have no control over this. You'll just automatically climb up to the top and then continue the scene. But yeah, if you shoot those, uh, those uh, oil drums, those barrels, then they will explode. And any explosion has a wide radius, so look out for it. There will be... Uh, Jeeps later on that you can also uh, destroy. Well, it just turned around time. A number of the enemies will duck when you shoot, which sucks. And I think almost all enemies will go down with one shot. Maybe it is all enemies. Watch out for those uh, knife guys. They do love to stab you. And when you've, they've got enough, ah shit, when they've got enough uh, distance, they will throw a knife at ya. Oh, I wanted his knife. Uh, yeah, yeah, like I said, I saw this in arcades. We will do an almost full playthrough of the first level. See, this level isn't even over levels are so long and you have to, like I said, you have to study, study those enemies and know what they do, know how much energy they got, how long it takes to kill them. <laughs> hey, thanks. Yeah, the enemies can kill each other. If you can make that happen, use it to your advantage. You will need every advantage you can get in this game. Yeah, when you hear that sound, then that means you've uh, you've killed the enemy. <laughs> that was interesting. I was able to jump backwards through the enemy and jump kick. Now, some technical aspects of this game are uh, are not all that impressive and kind of screwy. <laughs> yeah, kill each other. Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, when some some enemies that take a lot of hits, when they turn red, they are just about dead. And oftentimes you can just stand over their body and jump kick, and right when they get up, they'll be they'll be thrown for a loop, and or they'll fly backwards and die. Yeah, doing the jump kick is nice, but it does not work for every single enemy. And if you keep jump kicking an enemy over and over again, 
oftentimes they'll recover and they'll hit you. The threat of enemies ganging up isn't always... See, those are the guys that can hit you on a different plane, which sucks. I'll put in my initials. I think I declined to continue here, but we will look at snippets of the rest of the levels. But, um... Yeah, try to goad them into killing each other. It's, gotta take every advantage you can. And then just go back to the start if you don't continue. But, uh... A little bit later you fight these guys that go down with one hit. And then you get to this part. And something tells me more guys are gonna drop down from a chopper. Yep. Yeah, when those guys turn red... Oh, screw you, buddy. When those guys turn red, they're about to go down. And, uh... Yeah, doing a bunch of jump kicks in a row seems like it might be a good idea at times. But the enemy will often recover, and... and these guys like to jump around. Yeah, the enemies aren't as good at, at cornering you as uh, enemies in other uh, beat-em-up games. But uh, some enemies can uh, attack you from a different plane and hit you. Ah. Some of them love to throw knives. Some of them are very jumpy. Some will. Some are, are uh, more susceptible to your fists. Some are more susceptible to your uh, kick. Some of them are more susceptible to your jump kick. And there is kind of a stupid move you can do. It almost seems like it's supposed to be a headbutt. There is the end of the first level. And that's done by pressing kick and punch at the same time. And I don't know that I've noticed that it does anything. But yeah, when you have a knife, you press punch to throw it. And when you have a machine gun, you press kick to use it. And here are those, uh, here are some motorcycles. There'll be motorcycles, there'll be jeeps. I think, <laughs> where'd that guy fall? <laughs> kind of a technically screwed up game in uh, spots. Uh, yeah, don't get in a don't get in a position where those knife guys can get you from behind. Yeah, those, uh... Those, uh, uh, explosions have a nice wide radius. Hey, let me use that knife, damn it. There. Yeah, the guys can throw knives at each other. They can throw grenades at each other. Oh, shit, I ran out of room there. A little bit later, there's these uh, things that can crush you, but they'll they'll take a lot of energy out of you if they hit you. But uh, we're just gonna look at snippets of the remaining uh, levels. Just hoping to goad him into getting hit by that thing. And those some of the guys just just run at you and then they run off the screen. Screw you, buddy. We'll scoot forward here. <laughs> yeah, watch out for those explosions. Such wide radiuses. But those explosions can trigger other explosions. They can take out other motorcycles or whatever. See? Nice. Then a little bit later, get past these giant doors here. Don't touch this jeep. Or that happens. <laughs> but you don't have to fight the jeep like it's a boss or anything. And there they threw, they uh, knifed one of their buddies for me. And then that's the end of this level. And then you go to the, this uh, forested type of area. But yeah, some of the guys can sneak in a punch when you're trying to jump kick them. 
Yeah, I saw this in the arcade. I don't remember if I actually played it, but I definitely played the uh, NES one. And in the NES one, there's like uh, scenes where you go in the water and you can actually like backwards punch the enemies behind you, which is kind of cool. Scooting forward. And here you jump down this waterfall. Splash in the water. You can't go back into the water from here. You have to go forward. But yay, in uh, POW for the NES, there's a code that gives you 20 extra lives. You need to use that. Because the game is hard, like this one. But the NES one gives you the opportunity to uh, get uh, extra energy or uh, weapons. And that guy fell into nowhere. <laughs> Technically weird game. This level is the shortest. You go on this uh, elevator ride, and when you get to the top, or near the top, the, game, the uh, level ends. It's a pretty short level. And these guys, you can knock off the edge if they're close. They can't knock you off the edge. So use that to your advantage, but Unfortunately, it's very close quarters, and those knife guys just love nailing you. But yeah, listen to that sound, and you'll know that an enemy has died. Ah, eat a dick. I think that was the last guy. Yep. <laughs> and that's the end of that level. And this, I think, was the uh, final level. Ah, that stupid explosion. Such a wide radius. Maybe it's just motorcycles, not jeeps, like I was thinking about. And here's another scene where the computer makes you climb. You don't, you automatically do it. Yeah, I, I'm not crazy about this game. I mean, for those who are very patient with their beat-em-ups and like to uh, study things about them, you might like this more, because you have to study what the enemies do and how to react. But yeah, the guys that flash red, you can just stand over their bodies and you can jump kick and they'll probably be dead or they'll get knocked right down and then you can get them again. You can't walk backwards off that ledge. Gotta go forward. You don't fall off anything to your death in this game, which is nice. You at least have that in your corner. Uh, you can't fall into that either. But you can knock enemies into it. I hate that the enemies... Ah, damn it. Oh, cool, I lost uh, I lost use of the uh, machine gun, which is cool because, uh, you know, when it's empty, it's all you can do is uh, butt enemies with the, or uh, hit enemies with the butt of the machine gun. Now there's a bunch of uh, motorcycles. A little bit later, we'll go here. I thought maybe that enemy was going to go away. Some of the enemies will go away after a while, and you don't have to fight them anymore. Yeah, the, the NES one has... Oh, thank you! <laughs> the NES one has... Uh, version has uh, uh, rooms that you can go into, and when you beat the enemies in that room you get uh, you get your power up item like brass knuckles or something which gives you stronger punch or it can give you a uh, life recovery which you sorely need in this game and you don't have it as with many other uh, game beat em ups you have limited a limited bit of invincibility when you start another life. Yeah, that guy's trying to hit me from a different plane, and 
I can hit him from a different plane and hit him. He can't hit me. But there are some enemies where they can do that to you. Uh, we'll just scoot forward. Now there's uh, Blue Braid guys. Blue Braid knife fighters. And they can punch back. Maybe the kick is best on these guys. Ah, crap. And here is the boss of the game. He has a pistol. And he will shoot uh, his buddies sometimes. Ah, screw you. Maybe punch is best against these guys. Just learn what works best against which enemies. Ugh! Frickin' knives. <laughs> he couldn't hit me on a, a different plane. It looked kind of silly. Hey, he threw a knife into the boss for me. Thank you. And he shot, uh, the boss shot one of the other guys. Thanks. Yeah, a lot of enemies you can, you can get a few jump kicks in, but they will eventually smack you with some, and he hit me with his gun. Just die already, please. There he's flashing red. Yeah, when they flash red, you can usually at least knock them down with a jump kick. There, I beat him. But it's not over! Damn it. FF7, is that Final Fantasy 7? <laughs> this is Snake. Hey, that's Konami property. <laughs> you radio for your uh, escape chopper. Roger, Snake. No, my name's Snake, not Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? We have... Clearance, Clarence. <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to get to the end and then face a bunch more guys. It's almost over. The ah crap. The escape chopper will arrive. Quit ducking. The escape chopper will arrive, and uh, there'll still be some enemies right there that I'll have to take care of before I can escape. Ah, uh, dicks. I put on infinite uh, lives at one point just so I could make it through the game and and I didn't use the invincibility cheat. And there is my escape chopper, but enemies will pop out and I have to take care of them first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love when they kill each other for me. If you have any sense of uh, of what uh, Double Dragon was like and how to avoid getting cornered by the enemy, you can get at least a little bit somewhere in this game. But as for like getting terribly far, you really have to study the enemies and what they do and how to deal with them. Ow! Got nailed with a bunch of punches. Is this the last guy though? Yeah. I can beat him. But yeah, you can nail an enemy with a bunch of jump kicks in a row, but I wouldn't advise it. I wouldn't advise falling in love with that idea. And now we will see the ending of uh, POW Prisoners of War. Again, you can play one player, which I did, or you can play two players simultaneous play. And again, this had a Nintendo Entertainment System release. And if you play it, find out what that uh, 20 life code is. I'm sorry, I don't remember what it is, so you'll have to find it online. That was POW Prisoners of War by SNK in 1988. Put in my initials again. 
yeah, learn what, what each characters do. And, uh, because there's different colors of the same character, and they might go down one hit, they might take several hits. That is POW Prisoners of War, created by SNK in 1988. Both of you have to share the same room in this, uh, in the two-player simultaneous play. Not sure if both of you set off explosives at the same time. But, uh... Even with two players, it's, it's a tough game. Watch out for the explosion radius, it's really big in this game. Yeah, no, no sequels for this as far as I know. But, uh... Hope you're managing to stay cool in this hot weather. Well, that was POW Prisoners of War by SNK in 1988. This is Crazy Clown Ready. Same thanks for watching POW Prisoners of War by SNK in 1988. I will catch you later in the future with another video. Have a good one, everybody, and stay cool. See you later. Bye-bye.